Hey there, Stefan here. Got a new idea for videos on the channel. I know a few of you have been commenting, wanting that weekly content from me. I'm uh, flattered. There's no way I can produce any more videos than uh, two a month on the topics I'm researching. Do not let my petite bosom fool you. I'm like Dolly Parton. I'm working nine to five out here. I just don't have time to do that research. But what I thought I could do, hop on the camera, and maybe give some more information or talk about a question that's come up in some videos. And then also next week, I'm doing an interview on the channel with Mr. Beat. So that's it. That's a video a week every month. Cool beans. So to kick this off, I've been getting some comments on my How Early Hominids Treat the Dead video and on the Spear video that it's not fair for me to compare how modern chimpanzees act and therefore make assumptions about how early hominids acted. I disagree. I think that is a fair tool. I think we can use that for a comparison. Uh, there is a major caveat, but let me explain. First of all, just to clarify, this is not my own special technique for discussing early hominid behavior. It's widely used by anthropologists, archaeologists, and biologists to discuss how early hominids may have acted and other extinct animals as well, because it's reasonable to compare the behavior of related animals. They tend to act in the same way, or at least a similar way, especially if they're still living in a similar environment. To give you a totally random example, horses and donkeys split about four and a half million years ago, they went on their own evolutionary paths, but they still act in a similar way. And indeed, they can even still breed to some extent. They haven't fully despeciated. So maybe even humans and chimpanzees have not fully despeciated, but I'll leave that for mad scientists to solve. That's not what I'm going to do on my channel. Australopithecines, the sort of first widespread upright walking group of hominids, they had only been separated from the common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees by about one or two million years, maybe a little bit longer, but they were quite closely related. So when we're looking at, at the behavior of chimpanzees and other animals, it's a little bit reasonable to say that Australopithecines may have acted like that. Secondly, if we look at their biology, the, the chimpanzee brain is about 305 to 485 cubic centimeters. And from the fossils we've excavated, the average brain capacity of Australopithecus africanus is about 450 cubic centimeters. So it's right in that same ballpark that chimpanzees have. So again, just looking at their physiology, they're roughly the same size, roughly the same cranial capacity. I think it's fair to assume they may have acted in similar ways, considering how closely related they are. Finally, this one applies more to the spear video. All great apes, all of our close relatives, show a propensity for intelligence and tool use. So orangutans use uh, sticks to open up fruit, and they adorably use big leaves to cover their head in the rain. Gorillas use hammer and anvils to break open nuts. Chimpanzees, the most common tool user of apes outside of humans, have a wide variety of tool using behaviors, including perhaps spears. Clearly, there is something really fundamental about us and our close relatives and tool use. There's really something ingrained within us to use them. Why would that be any different in the past when they were even more closely related than they are now? So again, I do feel like it is fair to look at the behavior of how great apes act now and infer that our early ancestors may have acted in a similar way, may have used rudimentary tools in a similar way. Now, this is the big caveat. What you cannot say is because modern chimpanzees do X, then definitely our early ancestors did X. You can't be definite about it. You can only use it as a guide of behavior, as a model of behavior. And I really try to be careful in my videos, try and use phrases like might, may, could have. 
sometimes I get a little bit carried away. Maybe I'll throw a probably in there, which is probably a step too far. But I really try and moderate my language. You can't talk in definite about this sort of thing. But from these things that I've discussed, I think it's certainly fair to use the behavior of apes as a model for early hominid behavior. So that's it. That's all I've got for you this week. Let me know what you think of this new format, adding a little bit of extra detail to the videos. As I said, moving forward, each month my videos are going to be on a set theme. And at the end of the month, I'm going to interview and hang out with someone else online as well. This one coming up is with the illustrious Mr. Beat. I'm thrilled to have him on. So definitely look out for that next weekend. <sighs> what can I say except bye?